question six. Um, the question is about the volume of water in cubic meters used by each of 80 families in one year. And the first thing that we're asked to find is the modal class. Now, mode means the, um, in this case, the class which occurs most often, which is this group. It's got a frequency of 44. So the modal class, you can either write it exactly like that, or you could write it as, as 400 to 500. You probably get away without writing cubic meters, but you should write cubic meters there. OK, next bit says an estimate for the mean volume of water used by the 80 families. Now, what you've got to realize that here is that the first two families used somewhere between 0 and 100 cubic meters of water. And what we do is we assume that those two families used somewhere in the middle of that group. So we work out the midpoint of each group. So the midpoint of the first group is going to be 50, 100 to 200, well, that's 150, 200 to 300, 250, 3 to 400, well, that's 350, 400 to 500, well, that's 450, and 500 to 600 is 550. Now, I'm going to call that my X column, and what I've now got to do is work out an estimate for the total amount of water which is used by all of those families. Let's just make my pen a bit thinner. Okay, so I'm going to multiply. So these two people, these two families rather, you each used 50 cubic meters of water. So the total amount used by them, I'm going to multiply x by f. So those two families together, we can estimate that they used 2 times 50. So I'm going to do 2 times 50, which is 100. These, the next group, there are four families there. They each used an, an estimate of, 100, of 150 cubic meters, and four times 150 is 600. So I'm going to carry on doing that. So you've got six times 250. Well, that's 1,500. We've got 18 times 350, and that comes out as 6,000. Sorry, that was 1,500. That comes out as 6,300. We've got 44 multiplied by 450, and that comes out as 19,800. And then 6 multiplied by 550, whoop, which is 3,300. So the total amount of water then used by all of those families, if we add that lot together, comes out as 31,600 cubic meters. Now, if we want to find the mean, the mean is going to be the total amount of water used, which is the 31,600, divided by the number of families, which in this case is 80, and that comes out as 395 cubic meters. Right, next question part is cumulative frequency graph. So we're trying to work out how many families, first of all, used between 0 and 100. Well, we can see that that's 2. How many families used between 0 and 200? Well, that's adding these two together. So that's 6. Next, we're going to add on. So less than 300 comes out as 12. Less than 400 is the 12 plus the 18, which comes out as 30. Then 30 plus 44, which is 74. And this should be 80. And that agrees with the total number of families. So we can see that we're on the right lines. What we now need to do is on the grid draw a cumulative frequency graph. OK, first of all, we know that no one used less than zero cubic meters of water. That would be difficult. We then know that um, two families used less than 100. So here's 100. Two families here correspond to just one square. It's just one square to one unit. One square is two units here. Uh, we've got uh, six families used less than 200, so we do 200 and then three squares, which is there. Twelve families used less than 300, so 12 is going to be six squares, which is sorry, there. Uh, where are we? 30 families used less than 400, so 30 families, so there's 400, 30 families is there. Halfway between 20 and 40. Um, 74 families used less than 500, so we have so 500. I'm going to cut. It's quite difficult to do on here. So there is uh, there's 70. So 74 is there, and then eight, all 80 families used less than 600. Okay, now you can either join these up with straight lines or curves. I'm going to 
pretend that I've got a ruler. Well, I'll use I'll use my ruler, join them up with straight lines. So I'm going to go from there to there, and then I'm going to go from there to there, then from there to there, there to there, there to there, and finally from there to there. You can use I'd use a curve, or you can use straight lines. It doesn't really matter. Um, so what we need to do is work out the median volume of water used by the 80 families. Now the median is going to be the amount of water used by the halfway family. We've got 80 families, so half of 80 is 40. So let's just use a line here. So we go to halfway up the vertical scale, we go across to our curve, and then we go down from the curve, which is there, and we then read off the graph. And I can see from my graph that the median amount of water used is going to be, well, there's 400. Each little square here is worth 10. So it's going to be about 430, about 430 cubic meters.